Hi, this is Randy from Fried Eggs Golf, and we're here today to do yet another experiment. Now, I've had a lot of questions on shaft flex and how it affects ball flight, and what shaft flex you should be playing. Now, obviously, the best way to determine this is just go to a club fitter and get fit. They'll be able to tell you not only what model shaft you should be playing, but also what flex shaft. Now, unfortunately, there's not just a clear-cut way of saying if you swing this fast, this is the flex you should be playing. There's other factors that go into it like ball flight. And that's what we're going to be measuring today. I brought with me a Ping G driver. It's a nine degree. It's the standard head. And along with that, I've brought their three stock Alta shafts and a stiff, regular, and senior flex. Uh, they're 55 grams. Uh, I think in the stiff flex, it's going to be a little bit heavier. In the, in the senior flex, it's going to be a little bit lighter. So we might have to calculate that for if we see any increased ball speed. But uh, what we want to look at today is I want to look at the, the ball flight as far as directional, left to right, and consistency, as well as the launch angle and spin rates. I want to see how these three shafts, when plugged into the driver, they're the same length, they have the same grip, everything about them is identical except for obviously the shaft flex. And I'm going to plug them into the club head here, hit them on my GC2 launch monitor with Pro V1 practice balls, and see what we come up with. So we're all done. I hit three shots with each shaft, and I'm a little surprised by the numbers. I don't want to spoil anything. I just want to go right into it here. So at first I hit the stiff shaft. Average ball speed at 160 miles an hour. Average launch angle at 15.4. Average backspin at 2,600 RPMs. Average carry distance, 277 yards. This, this isn't bad for me. I mean, I'm not disgusted by these numbers, but I typically like to see a little bit lower launch angle. Uh, right around 13, 14, and I like my spin rate to be just maybe a little bit above 2,000, right around that area. So uh, that's why I play an extra stiff shaft. I like to see um, my ball leak a little bit right as opposed to left. I don't like to see my misses go left. I like to play fades, if anything, and it's just more controllable for me. So I'm going to go over to the regular flex now. Once again, we're at 160 mile an hour ball speed. Launch angle actually went down. It was at 13.8 degrees. Spin rate went up. It was at 2,900 RPMs. And average carry distance, 268 yards. Now, uh, a little bit shorter, and that can be attributed to the fact that we're launching it lower with more spin, and we're not getting the carry distance, and we're overspinning the golf ball, so we start to see a little bit of a, a depletion in, in the distance there. And we see the effects of the flex starting to uh, deplete my numbers. This is the one that blew my mind. As I go over to the senior flex, 162 mile an hour ball speed. So we went up in ball speed. I uh, launched it at 13.6, so it didn't launch it that much higher. But the spin rate dropped back down to 2,700 RPMs. And total carry distance was 276 yards. So I'm almost right back to where I was with the stiff flex. And it took me a second. It kind of jarred me a little bit. But looking back at it, primarily my misses with the senior flex went left. The, the club face was hooded, it was closed coming through a little bit, and that's why my launch angle was a little lower, that's why my spin rate was a little lower, but uh, the increase in ball speed is because from the stiff flex to the senior flex, you have a six gram difference. It's 59 grams in the stiff, it's 55 in the regular, and 53 in the senior. So if you look at the numbers as far as ball speed's concerned, that increase comes from a little bit lighter weight. and once again, numbers haven't changed drastically because as I went down in flex, the club started to miss more left. So if we take a look at these pictures next to each other, you can see that I was much more consistent with the stiff flex. Uh, shot dispersion, they were all landed beside each other. Now it was a little bit of a draw, like, like I said before, I'm not crazy about, but nonetheless, pretty consistent. As we drop to the regular, that consistency starts to fail a little bit and you see it to start to draw a little bit more. Now when we go to the senior flex, it gets crazy and 
my consistency drops out and and that's where we see the most drastic difference so if we're looking at it based on just the launch numbers it doesn't look that crazy it doesn't look that dramatic it's when we start to see ball flight when we start to see shot dispersion that's where we see the most uh drastic effect of regular stiff and senior flex and that's why it's so important to get fit for the right flex because you will see fairly consistent distance between the three of them there as I've shown here but you will see more dramatic difference in where the ball's going and being able to control it and being able to, to control your shot shape and everything like that so bottom line is get fit I'm not telling you anything new I just thought this was kind of a cool result I was expecting the senior flex to be like all over the place and almost comical but I pounded that thing I actually hit my best drive with the senior flex but once again it's because it was lightweight and I could swing a little bit faster, but I had no idea where it was going. It, it was, it went left really hard and I just, there's no way to control that on the golf course. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully this cements the idea of making sure that if you do go in and buy a driver off the rack, at least get the flex fit. Don't go in and say, oh, I've always played stiff or I've always played regular. Make sure that you get some club speed numbers and you get some spin rates, launch angles. And that way that information can be transcribed and put into what kind of shaft you actually need to be playing in your driver. So thanks for watching as always. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and uh, hopefully you can join me next time for another ridiculous experiment. Thank you.